So question two, part B, we have y equals negative three x squared plus six x plus two, and we have to find the vertex. And again, the vertex um, for a vertex, it has an x coordinate, right? It has a y coordinate. Now the x coordinate is negative b over two a. And when you find the x value, all you have to do is plug it in the formula and you'll be able to calculate y, right? So we're going to calculate the x value, which is negative b over 2a. What's a, b, and c in this equation? Well, again, this equation is of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus 2. So we should be able to write down what the values of a, b, and c are, right? We just need a and b, of course, for this. But but a, in any case, a is negative three, b is six, and c is two. So negative b over two a is what? It's negative six over two times negative three, right? Okay. So that gives us, you know, negative six over and what's two times negative three? Negative six, and what's that? It's a negative over negative, which is positive 1. So if x is 1, what's y? Because we have so far the x value of the vertex, which is 1, the x value is 1, what's the y value? Any idea how to get y? Well, look at your formula. y equals negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 2. Wouldn't you just plug 1 in for x and calculate it, right? So negative 3 times the x squared plus 6 times x plus 2. And we just plug 1 in for x and we calculate this. What's 1 squared? 1 squared is just 1, so 3 times 1. What's 6 times 1? Well, that's just 6 plus 2, right? So that's negative 3 plus 6 plus 2, which is 3 plus 2, which is? Five, right? So you plug the value of x in, you calculate y, y turns out to be five, right? So the vertex is one five, right? Now when we do question three B, we're actually going to graph this formula. So it's the exact same formula on question three B. We're going to graph this, and when we graph it, we'll be able to verify that the vertex should be in fact 1, 5. Okay?